by turning on this oscilloscope. It draws a picture of a sound. Uh, be careful, Jimmy. It belongs to my radio club. Now watch. This is a picture of my voice as I talk, Jimmy. Can I see my voice? Hey, there it is. Now, about these characteristics of sound, we'll start with loudness. Make a sound on the sacrina, Jimmy. Now, louder. The louder I blow, the taller the lines get. That's right. Try it again. The height or amplitudes of the jumps changes according to the loudness or intensity of the sound. And another thing, watch how the sound falls off in intensity as I move away from the microphone. So you see, the loudness of any sound you hear varies with its intensity and its distance from you. And this is shown by the amplitude of the jumps. Shallow waves for a soft note and high waves for a loud note. Now, what do you suppose shows a pitch? Maybe, maybe the number of waves, huh? Almost right, Jimmy. Here, try running a scale on this and watch. The number of waves does change with the pitch. We call the number of waves each second frequency. And the length of the waves changes, too. Short waves for a high note. Long waves for a low note. Now, you can hear two sounds of the same loudness and pitch, and still they sound different. And that's where quality comes in? Right. Try singing the five vowels on the same note. A, E, I, O, U. Now, compare my note to yours. Me. Me. The waves seem to have different shapes. Yes, the quality of the sound determines the shape of the wave. We can have two sounds of the same loudness and pitch, and still they're very different. And that's that. That's that, but it's not all by any means. There's a whole lot more to know about sound if you really want to go into the subject. But remember those three characteristics. And remember that all sound is vibration. It won't travel through a vacuum, but it does travel through air at the speed of about 1,100 feet a second. It travels even better through solids and through water. It travels in waves of compressions and expansions. With those points in mind, Jimmy, you can go on to a thorough study of the nature of sound. That's for me, the nature of sound.